Hi, I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa, and when it gets cold in Michigan, we start talking lake effect snow. So let's get the scoop on what causes lake effect snow. First, the big factor, you want warm water and cold air aloft. That cold air moving across the warm water makes an unstable situation. The air starts to rise off of the lake and then the lake effect snow process gets going. So the warmer the lake water is and the colder it is aloft, the heavier the lake effect snow can be. But that's not the only factor, there's two other factors. First, there has to be some moisture in the air. That cold Canadian dry air coming down will squelch any lake effect snow. And the second thing, the big one, the wind direction. Northwest, west, and southwest winds all create lake effect snow in different spots. And if that wind shifts a little bit, it will move the lake effect maybe out of your area. Now the good news is we don't have to worry about lake effect all winter long in some winters. Eventually, the lakes get cold enough in late January or February that it totally ends the lake effect process. But before then, you know what that means. You better have the snow shovel and the snow blower handy, especially if you live in those snow belts.